Hey, uh, yes, so basically we can start. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, uh, Joss. Hi, Daniel. Uh, very great to see you here. So I, I just wanted to have a short chat with you, like covering uh, uh, what uh, Joss and her team did uh, with Rebuto and in general, whether we could also leverage this situation to uh, like uh, give it as an example to the other startups building in the ecosystem. Now, just uh, tell us a bit more. I've heard that you closed your last uh, round in 18 minutes. What, yes. what happened there? Yes, it, it happened an hour ago. Uh, I mean, it's been, uh, so very positive feedback from the community. Uh, obviously, the Cardano community is incredible uh, in general, but uh, it was sold out in 18 minutes. Uh, our first one was sold out in minutes as well. Um, and, and now we're waiting for community sale on Saturday. Nice. Yeah, in, in general, uh, something that very few people understand is like uh, people are thinking more in terms of like what's the technology that actually allows you to do things. I think like the main value proposition of Cardano is not actually the technology, but the community that we are offering to the SARP that are building. Like, look, you, you've been able to like attract more than uh, a million leads in, in what, two, two weeks now? It, it as of yesterday um, through our referrals again something that we haven't planned something that we um, it, it's essentially you know something that shocked us primarily because we didn't expect that not even in the first year let alone in the first two weeks uh, but as you said it's, it was uh, the the timing of the market was perfect I mean it has a lot to deal with our use case but also on the with the fact that we decided to go with Cardano and use native tokens, and uh, and yeah, that's the result. Okay, so you are not actually using smart contracts, which is something that people are focusing on right now. You are actually building your use case completely on native tokens. Exactly, exactly. Our roadmap is synced uh, with your roadmap, so essentially we do have plans to uh, use smart contracts once the Alonzo hard fork. Um, comes into play, but at the moment, it's, it's not something that we need for our initial use case. And that's why we decided to say, we don't want to wait. The market is here. Um, our use case is here and we want to start building. So uh, that's why we decided to use native tokens. Nice. Uh, Dinal, what do you, do you think about this kind of traction that you're getting so early? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, firstly, congratulations on, on this successful sale and um, you know getting almost a million users on your platform in a matter of weeks this is it's unheard of in, in this space uh, so you guys are really uh, creating a high benchmark uh, for others to follow but it also showcases really the potential that exists um, on the Cardano platform I think uh, as it pointed out really one of the key values is the, the huge community we've built um, that uh, are very loyal to the platform that are active in contributing to it and um, yeah, and this is really the outcome of many years of work. And uh, yeah, I, I think um, the use case that you guys are working on is uh, also a phenomenal one in terms of bringing new users uh, to, to the space as well. Yeah, also like we, we discussed earlier on some ideas on actually integrating uh, Prism and uh, actually leveraging all the work that we are doing uh, uh, on the Atala Prism side. and. Uh, integrating that with your video. What do you think about that? Are there uh, like the directions that we can take or that the Rebuto team should should actually think about? Um, well, I think this is a, what the Rebuto team is showing really is that uh, you don't really have to wait until smart contracts. Uh, you know, we've got a, a roadmap that started with, with Shelley, Gogan, Voltaire, Basho, and you know, we're incrementally unlocking functionality and, uh, you know, you can build applications and use cases that can take advantage of this, this functionality, you know. So um, when we launched Shelly, you know, there are many businesses uh, building on top of Cardano, leveraging the metadata feature that we had. You know, a good showcase there was uh, ScanTrust. Um, uh, you know, actually an in-house uh, product that we've been building at Tyler Prism also leverages that. Uh, it doesn't use smart contracts, although in the future we, we, we do plan to um, to incorporate it more natively in, in the protocol. Uh, but yeah, so there, there are many capabilities, including at Tyler Prism today, where, you know, if an ecosystem of partners wants to come together and um, uh, leverage um, the fact that you have, you know, a, a single ID uh, that's 
used across this ecosystem and accepted by the ecosystem. It you know, really lowers the barriers, uh, reduces the costs to onboard customers, improves the overall customer experience. Um, and this is stuff that you can start to do right now. You know, we're working with governments, we're working with enterprise. Um, so yeah, we encourage people to kind of really look at what, what we're able to do right now and also kind of as the Revuto team is doing, aligning their roadmap with, with ours. I think that's um, a great way to do it. And we can, um, you know, work, work together on this journey. And as we unlock new features, you know, they, they can be, you know, one of the first to kind of trial it out, give us feedback, help us improve the product. And we jointly benefit from this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, the way I like to think it, about it is that what we are doing in general when we are thinking about ecosystem building is we are trying to give the SARPs as many unfair advantages as they can have. Uh, and uh, this is something that I discussed with the Revuto team early on when we, they were trying to actually choose Cardano over Ethereum. It was like, look, you can go to, to Ethereum and uh, you're going to have a very hard time uh, because uh, you're competing with so many other uh, platforms out there and, uh, and options. While on the Cardano side, you have uh, so many users, uh, the, the activity uh, on the network is, is incredible. Then we are giving you all these kind of other unfair advantages that you can leverage and we are helping you actually get there. So yeah, and uh, I, I think this is what happened at the end, that all those unfair advantages compounded and, uh, and gave us uh, this kind of results. Yeah, and we were really committed as a team uh, to ensuring that we, you know, lower the barriers of entry for, for developers. So, you know, making the developer experience as seamless as possible and, and starting to work with teams early in the process is also a key part of that. So we, we hear from you, we listen, we improve. Uh, where, you know, even when it comes to Cardano, we're going to give developers multiple options to create uh, applications and solutions on Cardano. And you don't necessarily have to use tools in our ecosystem. We'll provide ways that you can leverage exi existing developer tools, tool sets and toolkits that uh, exist, exist, for example, in the Ethereum ecosystem and, and then build your DAP on top of that. And yeah, as you said as well, we're um, really committed to making the platform competitive as well. So it, it really needs to be uh, better than everything that exists out there. And um, so, yeah, over, I mean, we're starting, we've been doing this and we've got a robust roadmap really to, to make it cheaper, better, faster than everything that's, that's out there. You know, Hydra is really our faster. Uh, um, in terms of cheaper, we're, we're looking at ways to kind of readjust fees uh, so that it's, it becomes a bit more predictable and uh, compared to things that are out there um, and better, you know, you'll have choice in terms of how you get to build on Cardano. You, you know, we're building robust governance. I mean, Catalyst is just the start and you've seen uh, the, the level of interest there and um, yeah, side chains. Um, um, you know, there's so much research in the pipeline. I think we've implemented 10% of it. So uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming. Yeah, yeah. O also thinking like on the other side, like uh, the uh, how do we actually funnel users to the uh, dApps and thinking about uh, the ideas around the DApp store and uh, how to actually leverage that. I, I think in general, what we are trying to, to do is like try to productize all those things that uh, that we were able to do with Revuto kind of manually and make sure that every startup that actually wants to build in the ecosystem can leverage those and benefit from those. Yeah, that, that's right. And one of the things we want to ensure is that there's a, a more secure experience when it comes to Cardano. So, um, you know, new users that are coming into the ecosystem can come and interact with these applications with confidence, with trust that, um, you know, there's um, not malicious people behind these applications, but uh, that they've been vetted, they're secure and, and so on. Yeah, 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 that's that's very important for us. And yeah, I, I believe part of the main value prop that we're trying to offer. Okay, uh, great. Uh, it was so, so great uh, chatting with you shortly. And uh, uh, Joss, I, I hope that uh, Revuto keeps uh, going uh, strong and uh, being given uh, more impactful in the, uh, in the ecosystem. And I hope that uh, uh, you stick uh, with that for a long time. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, being the first is brings a lot of responsibility as well. And the, the perks so we'll definitely make sure uh to update the community regularly and to keep in touch thanks so much uh, thanks you know thank you yeah well done again uh thanks for making us proud and uh, really looking forward to seeing this product evolve thank you
Thanks. Was good to have you. Thanks, Bob.